self-sustaining farm here in northern Alberta, Canada. If you're new here, welcome. We hope you stick around. Today in this video we're going to show you the really simple and easy way that we harvest and keep our potatoes fresh all winter long. This is the way our dad did it growing up and it's a lot simpler than other methods we have seen people use. So stay tuned, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, so we're down here at the potato patch. There's four rows here of potatoes and we have four varieties and then there's a few more rows down there. So um, yeah, you can uh, check out the video that Sarah and I did of how we planted these super duper duper fast. Something else that's really awesome is we didn't have to hill these potatoes all summer. We just uh, planted them super deep in the ground. It was, I don't know, eight inches to a foot deep. So obviously after a frost you don't want to leave your potatoes in very long at all otherwise they'll start going bad. So that's why we're digging them up today. It's super cold and windy today. There's uh, snow that's supposed to be coming in a couple days, a few days. Anyway, so we have uh, these varieties here. This here is Nicola, organic Nicola. And Yukon Gold, also organic all the way down to the very end. You see that uh, spruce tree? Red Pontiac, the only red potato that we have. And then this has to be Kennebec. Yep, this is our deep frying french fries potato. Absolutely delicious and real big. Gold is giving? Uh, three to five. But they're pretty big. They are very big. The Nicolas we're getting approximately 10 per plant, although one plant we got 25. That's nice. So that's basically Those are huge. It's remarkable how wonderfully these did and we didn't hill them. Nice. There was the only one. them. You don't want them to sit out in the sun too long otherwise they'll turn green but a couple hours or even an hour just to get them dry is fine. And then after they're dry on one side we go through and we flip them and dry the other side. So we're three hours later and almost all the potatoes are done being picked. We have a few people going through and flipping them because you want them to dry evenly. You don't want any dark dirt like that. You want it all turned that color. We have found it very helpful that right after we harvest our potatoes and when we're, we've sorted and bagged them, we will sort them into small and all the small ones we put into their correct uh, variety category bag and those are the ones that we have set aside for seed. So these are about the size that we would save for seed. And this 
in the spring we'll sometimes, depending on how many sprouts are on it, we'll cut it in half and do two holes or something like that. Our Yukon Gold gave huge, beautiful potatoes, but on average there is probably about three potatoes per plant. There's not very many, but they're huge, as you can see. They are very big. So the Red Pontiac did pretty good. They're beautiful spuds. So they're just going through and flipping them. And then this is uh, Kennebec, Lene? This is Kennebec, yep. Kennebec. It's interesting, it has a paler color, the Kennebec does. Yeah. They did really good too. They did. They give some huge oh, spuds. Fries. Oh, fries. so good. Yep, French fries and then we made ketchup yesterday. We have a video on how to make ketchup that you can check out. We'll put up in, in the, the top link, there. Uh, or in the link below. You put it right here, right? Other side. Oh. Is it really? Yep, right up there. Last year we got a Kennebec that was over two pounds. Crazy. So this is kind of cool. These are actually the seeds that we planted. And this one is actually starting to sprout again, it looks like. But they're a little discolored and they're a tiny bit soft. Something else that worked really well last year is if the potatoes that were this size, maybe even a bit bigger, that had some green on them, we would put them in the seed bag because we wouldn't really want to eat them because the green isn't good, the green is toxic, but the potatoes will still sprout and make awesome plants. It's almost two o'clock. We're gonna go eat lunch while these taters just dry. So it's four o'clock and we're just motoring. First of all, we're picking up all of the beautiful potatoes, the ones that are um, medium size and big and all healthy. No cuts or ugly spots. Hello, Lene. Hello. Beautiful spuds, eh? So good. We got so many sacks. Look at all those sacks. And then we're going behind them and picking up the seed. The seeds are these guys. Just really nice. I'm sure. Now that stuff, that's funny. So you wouldn't want that for seed. It's soft and it's, I don't know, bruised or something. So that's bad. We have other people who are helping go and collect all the bad ones. The ones that are yucky and damaged, like really damaged, um, cut into. And then we also have the itty bitties. They're like too small for seed. So we'll just kind of roast them up. These uh, old feed bags come in real handy. So we're just titling them right on the bag, and then we just reuse them year after year. So now Lene's gonna go down. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna collect seed. All the red Pontiac seed. All the red Pontiac seed. All of our Kennebec potatoes were planted from a bag about this full. So not even completely half full of seed potatoes, and it did all of our Kennebec. So in total, we had maybe a little bit more than a full feed bag's worth of seed potatoes to plant all of these potatoes. Here's a seed potato that we planted. Look it, it already produced a plant, but it is starting for the second time producing another plant. And there were actually sprouts, you can see that one was uh, broken off, but they were starting to grow again and it's hard. It's like you could eat it. Isn't that strange? We ran into a dilemma. <laughs> we ran out of bags. We're gonna go through and we're gonna count them. So help us keep track. Red Pontiac, one. Kennebec, one. Nicola, one. Yukon Gold, one. Red Pontiac, two. Kennebec, Nicola, Red Pontiac, Yukon Gold, Kennebec, Red Pontiac and Kennebec, Nicola, Red Pontiac, Yukon Gold, Yukon Gold, Nicola, Yukon Gold Seed, Pale of Bads, Red Pontiac, Kennebec, Nicola, Seed for Nicola, Yukon Gold, Nicola, <laughs> try not to smile, Red Pontiac, Red Pontiac, Kennebec, Seed for Red Pontiac, Seed for Kennebec, Kennebec, these are also Kennebecs, but we need more bags, Nicola, Nicola, Kennebec, and Yukon Gold, so we probably have in total one more bag left. Oh, and here's some more Nicola. Mm, golly. Wow.
Good job, Goo. Oh, thank you. I was gonna say work slave. Oh, I'm happy you didn't say that. <laughs> There's our trailer. So it's 5.30. We started at 10.30, had about an hour's break, and we we're all finished. The potatoes. We figure it's between six and seven hundred hills that we did, and we didn't have to hill them. We barely watered them, just a bit through the hot, hot spell in July, I think it was. Look at this trailer of potatoes! All from one bag of seed. I sort of think Maybe a tad more. Oh, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need. The sun and the rain and potato seeds, the Lord is good to me. Amen, 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 amen. So these potatoes will go into storage into our sea can upright with the tops open and they will stay fresh all winter long. Your promises. 